I'd love to take this minute and talk about 10 things that people absolutely love about eXp Realty. I went through and asked multiple different people. I personally have been at eXp for almost three years. I've hit their Triple Diamond Award recipient, which is their top level production award. I've also been an icon agent every single year I've been there, which is their top level for agent production that has to do with stock options. I'm a very big organization as far as agent attraction goes. So I feel that I personally utilize eXp for everything that it has to offer that I personally like. There's a lot of things that a lot of other people like. So I went around, took a poll, and we're going to get into a general consensus of 10 things that people absolutely love about eXp Realty. And the first thing that almost every single person said, hands down, is that they love the referral networks inside of eXp Realty. So not only is it agent to agent referrals, like where you pick up the phone and text someone, but inside of eXp, most organizations have their own private Facebook groups with you know anywhere from zero to tens of thousands of agents where they're just passing around referrals internally. Also, eXp has its own internal platform that's hosted by the company where they actually have eXp referral groups. Inside of those referral groups, they actually have certification programs as well, such as certification programs for real estate owned properties, REO, also relocation, express offers. So once you get certified with those programs, if people need an agent, depending on those partnerships that eXp has worked out, they dole out the leads. And it's just like Op City or like Zillow Flex is you do have to pay a split on those referrals that you get from the company. But if it's just agent to agent, it's just a, whatever split you guys end up working out amongst each other. EXP also developed an internal referral builder where if you get an internal referral, you actually just submit the information on this new website and it automatically sets the, prof the file up inside of your Skyslope account. And it makes it very simple for the giving agent to track along what's going on with that referral. If you do it externally, you still have to set up the profile inside of Skyslope and then hope that that agent sets it up and it's a little bit more convoluted. So that's why eXp really encourages agents to keep their referrals in-house. Moving along to item number two is the tech stack. You know, the tech stack at eXp for what you pay is, in my opinion, is one of the best in the businesses. So when you sign up with eXp, it's a $149 setup fee, and that includes setting up your CRM. That includes setting up your Skyslope account, which is your transaction management software. Your CRM is KV Core, which is one of the best CRMs in the real estate industry. And it also, when you get signed up at eXp, that $149 also sets up all of your eXp world accounts and gives you access to all the trainings, which is done through uh, MindFlash and TrackStar. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of recorded classes. They're also updated every single day inside of the world. So the tech stack is great. And then moving month to month after that 149 setup fee, it actually goes down to 85 bucks. So if you never sold a deal at eXp and you just eXp for his platform, never sold any real estate, the most you'd ever pay for is that 149 setup fee and then 85 bucks a month, which to me, I think is the best deal in the world, especially if you're a brand new agent or someone that's just like looking to, um, you know, maybe do real estate part-time. There's no other company out there that would invest the amount of time, energy, and effort and training into an agent that's not producing. But since eXp is cloud-based, it actually makes it very easily expandable and allows them to teach agents the highest level without investing more money per agent because the definition of a cloud technology is it doesn't matter if you're at one or 1 million users, it's a flip of a switch and everybody has access to it. So I think it's super powerful. The third item that most of the agents that I talked to absolutely loved was the fact that they're allowed to use any Regis co-working space in the world. That is also included in that $85 a month fee. So when we work with our agents and help them onboard at eXp, we actually have a director of onboarding that goes through and sets up and submits your Regis application. Regis wants to make sure that you don't have any, you know, bad criminal records, that you're a good person. Obviously, if eXp didn't bring you on as agent, that probably wouldn't be the case anyways. So you do have to go through a background check to get your Regis pass, but that's including that 85 bucks. But you can use any single one in the in the world, which is super cool. So if you've ever feared of not having a physical location, I understand that you might not be in a market where they have a Regis. So, you know, a lot of agents realize after about two to three days at eXp that they don't even need a physical office. I actually talked to hundreds and hundreds of people that own brick and mortar offices. And they said, you know, every agent would always tell us early on when they first start that they need an office and then they never show back up. And a lot of teams use offices because that's a nice 
you know, central place to house your team. You know, a lot of agents here now use co-working spaces such as WeWork, Regis, Kiln. There's lots of different places where they create their team environments if they need to meet in person. Me personally, I run my entire teams remote, so I haven't needed a physical location in years. The fourth thing that people seem to love is the leadership at EXP. You see, EXP CEO is Glenn Sanford. He actually uh, created the company and every single Friday morning inside of EXP World, they do a senior leadership standup where the senior leaders of the company actually speak to the agents. They talk about where the company's at, the health of the company, and where it's going. The thing that's also cool is Glenn Sanford is very integrated into the business. He just actually took back over in the position of the CEO or president of the company. So because EXP is in a position right now with the way that the market's shifting, where we have the opportunity to really capture market share, a lot of people say, oh, EXP is already topped out or EXP is at the limit. EXP in the United States is about 70 something thousand agents and their goal is to be at 200 to 250. So growing from 70,000 to 250 is a very, very big opportunity. So if it's something that you're considering or if people have been telling you that EXP is like at capacity, that's just people giving you a smoke screen and just trying to get you to not look at EXP as an opportunity. I remember when I got to EXP at 20,000 agents, everyone always told me that it was you know, going to go bankrupt and that there was all these bad things about it. And it really prevented me from taking a look at it early on. And when I did take a look at it, I was like, this platform is a no brainer. But Glenn Sanford is almost everywhere. So is the rest of the leadership. They do a fantastic job at integrating the senior leadership with the company, because what they know is that when agents join, you might have a great network, but there's a lot of agents that join that don't have a great network. So they want to be able to give the agents that don't have those networks or are looking for a secondary network, a place to call home and a place to integrate with the company, which they've done a phenomenal job by doing, which actually leads me to number five is the support of the brokers. And what I mean by that is if you go inside of EXP world, seven days a week, you can get support for agent needs. You know, if you need to speak to your broker, there's direct access to your brokers. It doesn't matter if it's Sunday, Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, any day time, you can always have direct access to your broker. If you need to speak with them face-to-face, -face, you just go into EXP world. And a lot of people are like, oh, that's just like a digital fake mem situation. The reality is, is behind every avatar is a live person. Plus we still use the old school stuff, old school, like text message, cell phone, email, you know, quote unquote old school, but those capabilities are all there. And the cool thing about eXp is the brokers here don't sell real estate. They're actually here just to support the agents. Same with their staff. eXp is a growth company. So the more agents that are coming into the company, eXp brings on more layers of support. So every state has one managing broker. And then depending on the agent count, there's more broker support under that one main agent. It's just like if you're, if you're looking at independent real estate offices, which is Keller Williams, uh, Remax, they're set up the exact same way, but they're based on franchises. Since eXp is not a franchise, they can have one managing broker for the whole state, and then they have more brokers underneath them based on the agent count. Most independent offices in the franchise world usually only need one broker for their office, and then they typically do not have more managing brokers underneath of them because their offices are typically smaller, or they try to maximize their agent count by... The only thing they can control is the cost of hourly employees or salaried employees. So the brokers are typically one per office. So there's obviously some caveats to that. There's some different office models out there I've seen, but for the most part, it's typically one per office. So that's one of the biggest differences that a lot of agents really love. And it's just like anything else. If you don't plug into the EXP world or EXP system, then it's just not going to be for you. So a lot of agents that you know maybe complain or say that it wasn't right for them or whatever it may be. I can almost bet that those agents that left or didn't find success is because they weren't utilizing the tools or they weren't plugging into the systems. One of the biggest things that I was told when I first came to eXp is that if you don't plug into the system, you will not be successful. You can't operate a different model inside of a different system, right? So that's something that I learned early on by one of my mentors, and it really, really rang true to me. And I plugged in and I saw instant growth and success. Moving into number six, speaking of internal you know, growth and things like that. How did I learn all this stuff? Well, it's very simple. Inside of eXp world, they do an amazing job teaching and training agents. So there's over 80 hours of fresh new live training every single week being taught by the top agents. 
This is unheard of in the real estate industry. Typically, top agents and top producers don't want to have anything to do with agents. They typically don't you know, want to teach them their trade secrets. But here's the difference. At eXp, they have a production award for top producing agents. They can give you back up to $16,000 in eXp stock for hitting these levels. I personally just got my Icon Award today. It just so happened I was announced this morning. And so they give back 8,000 instantly in stock. You have to earn 4,000 through participating in what they call culture. So inside of culture, they actually have the opportunity as part of the earnings to teach classes. You don't have to teach classes. If you don't, you just have to collect a certain amount of points to get your culture award, which is $4,000. So 8,000 for hitting, 4,000 more for participating in culture, and then 4,000 for attending the two EXP events a year. And that actually is a part of my number seven, which is EXP stock equity and revenue share and splits, which is the money piece to EXP, but let's finish out number six. So those classes are taught by top producing agents. So it's very cool that you get to learn. Like for me, I teach YouTube because we generate over, you know, almost a hundred million dollars a year in sales through YouTube alone, 100% inbound. So we teach the agents at EXP how we do that. So you want to learn YouTube, you come into my class, right? So it's pretty wild. And then inside of the EXP university, there's also EXP led training and through success, which EXP owns, they actually have coaching programs. So if you're always looking for more, there's always more available. Moving into number seven, like I said, is the money situation, which is splits, stock, and revenue share. So when it comes to make money at EXP, you got uh, your splits, which is an 80-20 split for solo agents. So if you're new to the real estate world, or even if you just need a refresher, it's a $16,000 cap for solo agents and team leads. That means that on an 80-20 split, that means that EXP will retain 20% of the deal until you pay them $16,000. That is the splits. If you have a team, then there's two different team models. One is either A, you can have a half cap model, which is $8,000 splits for your team agents, or a quarter cap, which for a quarter cap, you have to do what they call a mega icon team. So that's going to be all variable based on your team size and the amount of production that you do. And you can always reach out uh, jesse at realagentnow.com or text me and we can see if you qualify for those specific uh, criteria structures. And if you're an agent looking to join a team, you can reach out and we can point you in the right direction with that as well. But as far as stock goes, that's completely different than the splits and commission, but you earn stock five different ways. One is through selling your first home every year. Second is when you cap the third is if you attract an agent or an agent lists you as their sponsor and they sell their first house, you get some stock for that. Then eXp has a stock equity purchase program. So for every deal you do, you can opt in to using 5% of your commissions at a 10% discounted stock rate. And then there's also what they call the icon agent, which I touched on briefly, but that's when you cap and then do an additional $5,000 in transactional fees. So when you cap, you pay eXp a $250 transactional fee. So if you did 20 more deals after cap, you pay in five grand, you become what they call an icon agent. That's when you can get $16,000 in stock back. And then after you pay that 5K, it actually drops down to $75 a transaction indefinitely. Then, so there's the splits, there's the stock, and then there's revenue share. So revenue share is the thing that changed eXp and really blew it up, which is every agent that joins another agent at eXp. So let's just say you're watching this and you call me up. You're like, hey, Jesse, I want to join eXp. What do I do? You sign up. You list me as your sponsor. Now, every time you close a deal, eXp retains 50% of that cap that you're paying in. And let's just say that you signed a, they have what they call a cap deferral. So let's say you're at Keller Williams right now or another real estate brokerage and you're looking at coming to EXP, but you're like, I've already paid my cap for the year. And let's say it's over 16,000, we can get you a cap deferral. So that means that EXP wouldn't charge you anything, a cap. You wouldn't have to pay anything into the cap until your anniversary date rolled around and EXP would give you a credit for what you've already paid. So if you paid 12,000, EXP would give you a credit of 12,000 until your anniversary date. If you were at 24,000, eXp would still just give you a credit of up to 16,000 because that's their cap until your anniversary date. But if you weren't paying into the cap, I would be making no revenue share off of you. It's only when you're paying into the cap do the agents in your organization make revenue share. So once again, you pay into the cap, say it's $1,000 from your deal, eXp retains $500 of that, and then they give $500 back to your organization upline. So it's a way that EXP agents can are being incentivized to help the company grow 
But also, as you can see, and I've talked about so much support, it's also another way for agents to help support other agents, which I think is super powerful. Less than 5% of the company actually earns revenue shares. So when all these people used to say that eXp is this big recruiting company, I'm like 5% of the agents at eXp actually recruit. And I'll tell you what, and I'll drop the disclaimer right now, is that since the day that revenue share was started, eXp has given out over $350 million in cash. We have a dashboard that is tracked on every single day. And also you get to see exactly what's going on. It's cash in your bank account. It's not stock. It's not any of that stuff. I've looked at every other model out there, real broker, LPT, home smart has one now, every revenue share model, nothing beats the EXP model. If you're someone that actually wants to build an organization, statistically and figuratively speaking, I've compared all the models side by side. And there's always a lot of haters that come in the chat and they're always like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, blah, 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 blah. I've done videos on this where I've set it up side by side by side based on my specific situation. And in the short term, it might benefit me, but in the long term, it's not going to benefit me. The EXP model is set up in the revenue share space for agents' long term sustainability. That's what the real estate industry was missing. There was no way that agents could build an exit strategy before EXP ever came around. And a lot of these companies were actually have been around since EXP has been around too. And it's just there's a reason that EXP is 10x bigger than their direct competitors. So let's talk about number eight, since we're kind of talking about revenue share and organizations, is the collaboration amongst agents. So when agents join other agents, some of these agents actually have big giant communities for their organizations. So I personally have a pretty big organization. My sponsor has an organization. Their sponsor has an organization. So we all kind of like roll into um, Jay Kenner and Michael Reese. They're in our, our upline. They have a, a big group called Honey Badger Nation, and they do all of their teachings and trainings in there. Then I have my subgroup called the Broker Factory. I do my own personal trainings in there. So actually when agents join us, they actually get the benefits of me and my whole upline. So if you join somebody, you always want to make sure or not even make sure if they're influencing you to come, that's like one thing. But I'd say if, when I was joining, I was making sure I was getting the best bang for my buck, you know, and making sure I was strategically aligning myself with people that could help support my business because not only am I helping them grow their business, but I want to make sure that I'm getting some help to grow my business and my help and support needed was in different ways. And I've been able to find that, but it's all been done through collaboration. When people come to EXP or even go to an EXP event, which will lead me into number nine, it actually is something like you've never seen before. It's the culture is just ingrained. And that's something that Glenn Sanford, the CEO, set up from the very beginning. And one of the biggest differences between EXP and all other companies out there that are trying to like now emerge in this category is that EXP is owned and operated by the agents. Glenn Sanford was a top team lead at Keller Williams, one of the top agents in the country, was one of the first early adopters of search engine optimization, and then one of the first early adopters of Facebook ads. So you have someone that really understands the real estate game, someone that really understands the technology game, and they brought it together and they created EXP Realty. You know, you're starting to see all these other companies pop up and they're all investor funded. Where are all those companies today? They're all in the tank because they took inv capital investments and had to or dilute the shares and they're never, they're never going to make decisions based on what's right for the agent. They're always going to make decisions on what's best for the investors. One of the biggest key differences, you also have to look at who's controlling the board and all of things included. So the stock prices don't mean anything. What makes the biggest difference are the actions that the companies are actually taking to support their agents. Are they contributing to growth or are they just trying to cut costs and meet a quarterly number? So that's one thing that you'll notice at eXp Realty is when the markets shift, we typically take market share because agents want to go to a company where they have multiple opportunities doing the same thing. And then when the business is thriving, eXp just consistently grows. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. I know like people are like, oh, that's so cliche or, oh, how does that really happen? Well, let me tell you, I'm living proof every single day that it's the real deal, holy filled. So moving along from collaboration, this kind of leads me into number nine and you do not want to miss number 10, but number nine is the events at eXp are best in class. And what I mean by that, I'm not only talking about the two eXp events that they run every year in person, which is eXp Con and Shareholder Summit, but I'm talking about the agent led events. You know, Brent Gove is one of the most uh, iconic people at eXp just because of the events that he hosts. And when I was talking about collaboration too, 
it doesn't matter if you're in someone's organization. I talk to EXP agents every single day that I'm not being rewarded because here's the deal. A rising tide lifts all ships. And what I mean by that is because of being a shareholder of EXP stock, when all the agents win, our stocks rise up. So Brent Gove, one of the most prolific people at EXP, creates events for different types of reasons. But one event that he does every single year, he's been bringing Tony Robbins to, and they've had up to 7,000 agents. Also, they do a Cabo event every year in person, and there's always thousands of agents at that. So the events are always mind blowing and they always bring, you know, whoever's training in the industry to speak at these events. You know, they've, they've brought in Venus Williams, they have brought Jay Sheedy, they've brought out Grant Cardone, they've brought in the people from Shark Tank. Glenn Stearns and Robert Hershevik, you know, one of the creative, the VP of creative directing at Disney and how they go through their creative processing, uh, Navy SEALs. So you talk about these events, they're always electrifying. And they also do this thing, what they call X camp, where they have the agents inside of the company that same like myself, I have a YouTube marketing agency. We'll go to X camp and we'll teach. It's kind of like a giant mastermind in complete controlled chaos where they do it really, really quickly. But it's basically like having like 600 breakout sessions that you can choose to go to and then agents can move around. And it's one of the coolest experiences you'll ever have. So it's a shareholder summits coming up. And I think it's just something that everyone needs to experience once. Even if you're not at EXP, you can go to any of these events and they'll gladly have you there. I think it's worth going to an event if you're not an EXP agent. And if you are an EXP agent, you better be there. And then the last thing I'd like to talk about is the marketing. People always want to know at agents or brokerages is like, what's the technology? What's the marketing? What's the support? And what's the pay structure? So I can't not do this without the marketing, but EXP has got a brand new marketing platform, which integrates directly to KV Core. KV Core, you can set up anything. You want to send postcards, mailers, uh, drip campaigns, pre-templated, you know, create your own. They have integrations with uh, MailChimp, uh, Core Social, the list goes on. But they, the thing I really like is that they do trainings on this every single day from the companies, not EXP specific. So you're getting hands-on real life training. But inside the marketing platform, you have uh, you just set up your profile, and then it'll pre-make you marketing templates. Also for your listings, you have single property website. Once you get your listing live, it automatically pops up a notification in your email. says, do you want to put some money behind this on highly targeted ads for buyers most likely to purchase? And then you can add your seller's name to the list. So that way they're getting a traction report, however they want it reported. Maybe it's every other day. Maybe it's every day. Maybe it's every other week or every week. It's super cool. But there's so many great, fascinating things. And then they have different segments. If you need marketing for agent attraction, if you need marketing for listing, if you need marketing for buyers, open and houses, everything is already set up in its categories. So it takes all the heavy lifting off of you. And people always say, well, like, do I have to use all these tools inside of eXp? The answer is no. The only tool that they're going to make you use is Skyslope. You're going to have to upload your transaction details into Skyslope because that's how you get paid. Oh, and let me give you a bonus tip, a bonus one. If you made it all the way till the end, the one thing that sets eXp apart from everyone else is that when you close a deal, you get paid within 24 hours into your bank account. That's unheard of. And in Canada, it's going to be done by the end of the month. So if you're watching this and it's February or March 1st, 2023 and beyond, 24-hour payment guarantees in Canada now. And that's something that I absolutely love because before when I wasn't at eXp, I had to wait two weeks to get my payment because the brokerage got paid and then they take forever to cash the check or sit in their bank account. They make their interest and then they pay the agent. Not at eXp. They don't even need the check to pay you. They just need a copy of the check to pay you. So I gave you a bonus one. And if you're ever looking for any more information, feel free to reach out. Give me a call. Shoot me a text. Send me an email. If you have any questions, I got your back when you have questions about eXp Realty. And until next time, we'll catch you later.